Hi students, I hope all of you are well and keeping in good states. Now, in the last video students, we had a discussion upon census technique. Now what was census technique students? 100% elements of the population are taken. All of you are aware of the term population? Population here refers to the number of elements in a study. So if say for example, 3000 uh, children are to be studied for a purpose and all then all 3000 will be referred as population but in census what we do we take each and every element of the population but then again it's time consuming it's costly so what is the alternative method alternative method is to pick a sample of 300 do a study on it and whatever the result comes apply on full 3000 only with 300 we can magnify the result for 3000. Now that is what you call it as sampling technique of statistical investigation. What is it? Sampling. Clear? It is time saving. It is relatively cheaper, much much cheaper and much more common than census method. Census, very rarely it happens. In maximum cases you find this method is chosen technique is chosen over the census one. Census is done by government of India. Remember every 10 years they do it. 1900s, you know, the census of population started in, in fact, uh, in the 19th century itself, in the year 1800 something, uh, the first one. And the 2011 one was the last one. 2021 will be followed. But let's focus on sampling part, which is our key issue here. So whenever you take a sample students, there are a few points which you will keep it at the back of your mind. First thing first, what is the size of the population? Clear? Now let's say for example, we are trying to find out in a school there are 3000 students and our objective is to find out what is the economic status of the families from where they come. Are they from rich well-to-do family? Are they belonging to middle class? or they are the ones who are finding it difficult to meet the ends, poor background as such. Um, so therefore very difficult for them to meet the ends. So in order to find it, either we can go bang on with all 3000 or we can take a sample of 300, which we have taken 300. Now, what are the points you should keep in mind? First and foremost is the size of population. A school with 3000, a 300 sample might be good. But what about a school with 6,000 strength? I think it might be very small or too small for a such bigger school to take 300 sample. And in that case, you have to increase the sample size as such. So what is the golden rule? The bigger the size of population, bigger should be the size of sample. Clear? Second point. What is the level of accuracy you want? Remember, the 100% accuracy or accurate result can be given only by census but you can't every organization can't do it so what is your objective to be close to what the answer the census would have given or relatively close or you just want to give an answer for the sake of giving the answers right objectives differ so if greater accuracy is desired in the findings then it is better that the sample size should be greater. Am I clear? Don't go by 300, go by 500. Am I clear? And the last point, what is the nature of the population? Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? Homogeneous means same type, then you can go with smaller sample. But if it is variety, then heterogeneous, then you should be having a larger sample. I hope all of you understood it. Thank you.